Hey. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Absolutely Positively. I am your host, Jenny K. And I am super excited about today's episode. One would say I'm loving today's episode. <laughs> Without further ado, let me usher you in to this lovely place, this lovely, lovely forum created and designed especially for you. It is a forum that wants to bring across the message of the IEM or the IEM, <laughs> what does that stand for? It stands for encouragement, excuse me, inspiration, encouragement, and motivation. And so I have come up with a wonderful platform, construct, and curriculum to help you feel just absolutely positively wonderful about your life and the life that you're living. So you can be your best self that you know that you have someone out there that's rooting for you, that wants you to succeed, and hopefully something is said and done that does exactly that. And so without further ado, we are about to start the show. I'm so super excited because, again, I started the show with my imaginary positive jar. And now that I've crafted one through a wonderful event, through a wonderful event that one of my organizations puts on, where we did vision parties and vision glasses and what I am calling my absolutely positively jar. It is one that brings me great joy because I find things, I find quotes, things that are positive and drop them in this jar to inspire me, but decided that this was something that I would do for you as well. Why? Because motivational quotes really do something for me. I can take uh, a motivational quote or inspirational quote and chew on it the whole week, the whole day. It just keeps churning in my spirit. And that's really what this show is about, is to plant a seed and that it will grow into something absolutely and positively wonderful. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So I picked this wonderful quote out of the jar here. And I cannot wait because I saw it and I thought, oh, yeah, this is me all day long. So this helps me, and I hope that it helps you. Okay, today's quote comes from Tyra Banks. Tyra Banks, this wonderful force of nature who started out as a model, TV host, um, just extraordinary actress, just wonderful things she's doing. And to me, she is the epitome of inspiration and motivation just because of how she started her life, how she's living her life. Some may say she's controversial, but she really just speaks her heart and she really talks about the spaces of just learning to love herself. Because, you know, as a model, people think that, you know, models have it made. And being a model myself back in the day or doing some runways and a, a couple of print, not, not anything major. But people think that models have it made. And I was nothing to the point that where she was. That was college and all of that. So I'm not trying to hype myself up. But I just know that when you declare yourself a model and you put yourself out there, people think you already love yourself or you are got people adoring you and, and whatnot. And that's not the case all the time. It depends on what's going on the inside, what births on the outside. So, ooh, there's a quote right there. I might have to write that down. Excuse me as I write that down. Okay, I'll do <laughs> anyway, Tyra Banks tells us, self-love has very little to do with how you feel about your outer self. 
It's about accepting all of yourself. Ooh, let me let me get my sister girl voice. I'm gonna read this one. <clears throat> Self love has little to do with how you feel about your outer self. It's about accepting all, 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 all of yourself. Woo! All right, y'all ready to unpack this? Woo! Unpack. Let's unpack. Let's take out everything. The toothbrush. We're going to take out the hair grease. We're going to take out that shirt. We're going to take out that windbreaker. You knew you weren't going to wear it, but you packed it just in case. We're about to unpack this because this is truly amazing what she's telling us. As a big advocate of self-love and self-care, I learned a long time ago, well, actually not that long ago, Really and truly, y'all, if you've been rocking with me, you know I have a lot of kids. You know, I just had a kid uh, five years ago, but it took me probably in those last five years to just really start trying to understand about self-love and how to take care of yourself, just loving the skin that you're in, right? And so her first statement starts out with self-love has very little to do with how you feel about your outer self. So as I was saying, the whole model thing, she has lived her life in front of the public eye, having to be a certain shape, having to look a certain way, having tresses or uh, long hair in the way that people said, whether it was short or curly or whatever they wanted her to be. So she is saying, the model now, the model is saying that Loving yourself is not about the outside. It's about everything. She said all. So what does that mean? Let me, let me go back to the quote now. I feel like a preacher. Let's go back to the text. <laughs> it has little to do with how you feel about your outer self. It's about accepting all of yourself. Not Tyra, not Jenny, but you. Go, go, do me a favor. Go look in the mirror. Go get your camera out. Take a picture of yourself and really look at yourself right now. Look at yourself right now and see what you can see. And I'm not talking about that zit because you had too much chocolate. I'm not talking about that you need some lip chap. I'm not talking about the fact that your eyebrows might need to be arch. I'm not talking about you need to go get a manicure. I'm not talking about that COVID-30, COVID-20 really, that COVID-20 that you have put on. We're not talking about the fact that you need to go visit Victoria's Secret or you need to go to Academy, get those new kicks to accentuate your outfit. We ain't talking about the outer look. And for me, those glasses that are about three years old, we're talking about accepting yourself inside and out, top to bottom, behind the ears, the ooey gooey on the inside, the rage that churns on the inside, those thoughts that ruminate in the wee hours of the night and no one knows anything about. We're talking about your whole self, man. That is deep. And do you know what it takes to do that? I would gather that even the most positive people, and I'm not 100% positive, but I'm pretty positive. But again, I'm not 100% positive every day. I have good days and bad days, just like everyone else. But accepting yourself, Every single day, every little thing about you, and there's no self-doubt. There's no negative self-talk. It's positively all the time. Man, that is a feat. That is a feat. Even Jesus is self-weak. Even Jesus questioned him, his father on the cross. Even him. And he is love and protection, right? For near it, if you believe in, in that. 
So Tyra is saying that when you're on a journey to self-love, you have to understand the rudimentary, the basics of what that truly means is loving your whole, whole, all, everything. You know, they talk about it in love songs. I love you from your head to your toe. I love you even if your breasts stink. It's mad in your eyes. You don't have on makeup. That, mm -hmm. I love you when you get mad at me. I love you when you can't stand me. I love you when you just crazy. Yeah, that too. I love it when you're doing good and when you're doing bad, when you making me proud and you making me sad, you're, you're all of that. And then some, so come on, come on, keep going, keep digging. And so I think that what I would love for you to do on your journey to self-love, because again, you're gonna have some good days and you're gonna have some bad days. On your journey to self-love, because in that bad day, you're gonna need this list I'm about to tell you to do so you understand uh, where you need to draw from, where you need to go to when you need to be reminded of that, okay? So right now, get out a piece of paper and write down all the things that you love about yourself, okay? And then write all the things you do not love about yourself. And then literally, well, not literally, figuratively take all those components and digest them and let it go down good and easy and know that this, you swallowing it, you accepting it, all of it. That's why I said figuratively, accept that. that, that that's the formula. I'm not asking you to eat no paper. So don't be trying to say, well, Kenny K told me to eat some paper. No, she told me to eat my list. No, figuratively or list them and then transfer that energy, transfer that wisdom on you. Bathe yourself in it. No, don't get in the bathtub and take the words and bathe. You know what I'm saying. Allow it to seep into your spirit and be okay with it. That's really what I'm saying. This is why I chose this particular background with big, medium, and little heart because that's what it's gonna take. Those little hearts signify, woo, I just made myself happy. Woo, those little hearts, it, uh, they signify the things that maybe you don't like too much about yourself. Those medium hearts are things that you, okay, I'm right, I love that about myself. These big hearts, oh yeah, I love all of that. And then this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like, all of that love. And see, I'm a mist, I'm a mist, these hearts. Self-love, that's what your self-love should look like. I'm gonna tell you right now, transparent moment, I do not like my smile. <laughs> do not like it. Let me give it to you. Something goes wrong with my lip, then this lip goes down crooked. It is just not the best smile, but I promise you, there are days when I'm smiling and because somebody made me happy or made me smile, nine times out of 10, people will say, oh, wow, I love your smile. I'm like, what? But I'm at the point, I can accept it. I don't like it. I love it. Why? Why? And I will tell people, oh, I don't like smiling like that. Don't make me smile taking some pictures with a photographer. And he said, smile. I said, I am smiling. The smile that I love. The other one, mm, I'll give that to you when you say something funny. I don't like it, but I love it. Why? Dot, dot, dot. Because it's a part of me. And I accept it. Cricket smile and all. <laughs> Seriously, cricket smile and all. I can criticize it and say I don't like it, but still love it because it's a part of me. It doesn't have to be the poster child as I'm going down the hallway. I hate my smile, I hate my, no. It's the way God made me. And for some reason, that little smile is my peeking at myself 
and not showing myself self-love for being wonderfully made. And so what? Now? Okay. It's one of those little hearts back there. I love it. I loved it. But I still love it because it's a part of me. It's a part of me. Another example I want to give you before we close is this right here. When I was younger, I started graying probably around, I think I was in about eighth grade. So what does that make me like 12, 13, somewhere around there? Hated it. My first gray hair, I thought, oh God, I can't, what? Because at the time gray was about being older. And then I want to get older, you know, I already was viewed as a weird child, you know, not in a bad way. I mean, not in a good way, but in a bad way. You know, ooh, she's weird. So to have gray hair that people could see, and it just kept getting more plentiful. So by the time I was in high school, I had a couple of streaks. 20, you could visibly see it, no matter how I wore my hair. Let the wind blow and flip it over to the side. Wow gray hair. And so somewhere around my 20s, my father told me, you know, gray hair is about wisdom. And from that point on, I started loving it because he grayed early and his mother grayed early and her father grayed early. So it was genetic. And so I loved that. I changed that and made it something I love. And then when I cut my hair as low as it is now, I was approached by a patient because I was in the healthcare at that time. A patient and said, Oh, wow, I love your angel kiss. And I said, Ha ha, what? Say who? Say huh? He said, An angel kiss. He said, That mark is a kiss from the angels when you were in your mother's womb and they wanted to give you an extra blessing. And this is how they did it. Now, we all have angel kisses, but yours showed up in your head. And I thought, Oh, baby. So that little small heart grew to this big heart over here, right there. Okay? So that's what I'm saying. Except, or that's what Tyler is saying. Except all of you in your wonderfulness and splendor, baby. Do it and be the best you that you can be. Walk in self-love. Walk in greatness. Walk in grandeur. Because ain't nobody like you in the world. And if that ain't a big heart, I don't know what it is. Give yourself a big heart. So I encourage you to write down all the things you love about yourself, all the things that you, or maybe you can do this, write all the little heart things you like about yourself, just a little, all the medium things you love about yourself and all the big things you like about yourself. And then sit in that and accept it all. And at the end of the day, remind yourself that you are wonderfully made. There ain't nobody like you, not one. Okay, that has been our show. I enjoy talking to you about self-love and I do hope you get in the I am spirit of it all and take something that has been said and Allow it to wash over you in a way that you will walk in greatness. It has been my absolute pleasure to be with you today. Shout out to our sponsors, 3M, baby, New Mogul Media. Like, subscribe us on YouTube, Instagram. I was going to say social media, Instagram, Facebook. Follow us so we can keep giving you this great content. And as always, whatever you do, whatever you say, wherever you go, whatever you touch, all of that W business, <laughs> make it a great one, absolutely and positively. It is my absolute joy to bring this forum to you. I hope you've been blessed by it. And until the next time, take care. Absolutely positively. Let me hear your absolutely positively self love battle cry right now. Ah! <laughs> Till next time. Take care, y'all. Bye.